In this vlog, we cover a bit of urban exploration, or urbex as it's known. This time, Steetley Pier, just to the north of Hartlepool, in the northeast of England. I've wanted to go and visit Steetley Pier for some time, so in the middle of July 2022, I took the opportunity, the weather was a bit variable, but still a worthwhile visit. You can park at or around Westview Road in Hartlepool, TS249 LJ for the sat-nav, and then walk through a tunnel under the railway line and carry on for a short way straight ahead towards the sea, past the new housing development. When you get to the sea, Steetley Piers on your right. It was originally built to provide seawater to the former Steetley Magnesite plant in the 1960s. Hartlepool was selected as the site for the factory because of its location close to the high purity dolomite deposits at Coxaw and the fact that the seawater was of consistent quality and free from dilution by fresh river water. It was also near Durham Coalfield, which provided the fuel for the kilns. The plant produced an estimated 250,000 tonnes of high quality grade magnesia each year when it was operational, but has long since ceased production. The plant closed in 2005 following a series of takeovers and failed attempts to keep it going, and the main part of the plant, including the tanks and the chimneys, were demolished in 2012. The site has since been cleared to make way for new housing, which has been built where the former plant once stood. What remains of the plant in the times gone by is Steetley Pier, which was used to collect seawater that was required to extract the magnesia by reacting it with dolomite. Refactory grade magnesia is used in the manufacture of refractory bricks, tiles and gunning materials for the application in steel, cement and non-ferrous industries. Chemical grade magnesia is used in the manufacture of rubber, plastics, leather, oil, paper, pulp and fertilisers. The 2,000 foot long pier, which takes it right out beyond the low tide point so that its pumping plant always had a supply of fresh seawater, being pumped down the two pipelines on either side of the pier. You can still see the remains of the pipelines towards the seaward end of the pier. The pier is decaying with time and has had a section removed to prevent access and to avoid injury from people attempting to access the pier. It's dangerous to swim near the pier as there are underwater currents and the remains of industrial artefacts beneath the water along parts of the pier as it decays which are dangerous. There are a number of notices up advising of this following a series of incidents and fatality. If you catch the weather right, you can see some amazing sunrises, which makes the pier appear somehow magical. Hope you found this interesting. Click the thumbs up if you enjoyed it, so I know whether to do more urban exploration blogs in addition to the normal camping and tech.